Hello, everyone. Today we have something special. Uh, I'm surprised this isn't worth a lot more than what it is, but that's good. I don't want it to be because it is a really cool vehicle. Uh, and, uh, you know, I obviously think this version's the best, as you can see. It's not screen accurate, but once you look at its feet, its head, and its cannons, you're like, okay, I know what it is. So we're looking at the 1982 Scout Walker from The Empire Strikes Back. This is part one. Um, so there was some light restoration work to it. Not too much, though. Uh, got this guy loose for about like $60, $70. Um, they're starting to climb up now. Now with the box, they're in the $100 plus range. Uh, between 100 200 but um if you want one sealed you're now going to 300 but um just to be able to get a lot of these for cheap but now with the box they're really jumping up but loose you know 70 100 dollars range i'm not going to complain so this is the scout walker from 1982 these two stickers right here original the cockpit hatch door original and then in here we have one sticker on the side panel on our left if this allows me to it's probably not on the left here left side armrest panel reproduction and even these stickers are original as well reproduction what else is re i think the yeah these two are reproductions i believe and then this back one which is always destroyed always destroyed um, it's actually holding up pretty well. And it has a cool feature. It walks. And then push that, holds. Got a cannon. This is usually the rarest piece. 360 cannons. Really cool. Goes up. There it goes down, goes up. Really cool toy. Um, and once again, another little ship that was saved here and uh, I can't really complain just an overall another cool toy um, that you should have in your collection and this also opens up which is really cool And stay up but it, it does um yeah so this this is interesting so i don't know the full story but as i've learned more and more about vintage star wars um the whole line now is extremely popular as a whole but back then by this point it was starting to go downhill uh Return of the Jedi toys were not like the previous two films, but the downhill started at the very end of Empire Strikes Back. Um, other toys were coming out. So this one uh, was kind of uh, missed. And um, they made a lot of them, but uh, it just came out the very end so technically it's a return of the jedi toy but um it is an empire toy because it did come out 
1982, but I hear at the end of 82. Um, so, uh, yeah, but over the years, it's become popular, uh, like Return of the Jedi toys and, um, you know, Power of the Force, but, um, I like it. And it's funny, because we have yet to review it, but the at, -AT this was very popular. So, um, that'll be an interesting video when we get to it. Um, but yeah, um, it's sad, but hey, look, I get to pay this price for it, so it's not that bad, and it's a vintage toy, so. Uh, other issues are, are its feet, its feet warp, mine is pretty good, uh, it's warped a little bit, but once I said it's expected, this is 40 years old next year, so. Um, for it to be in this condition still, and only needed a few stickers to be replaced, it's pretty impressive. Um, and especially these two stickers being great. Amazing. So, uh, we're going to show you part two of the box, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.